Hey everyone, welcome back. And this video is a little bit outdated. I am talking about an article that came out on Monday that was responsible for this 3% increase. And today there's rumors circulating that GM has signed a deal with Nikola, which explains this huge jump. But today's video is going to be focused on Cummins coming into the industry and believing hydrogen to be the future, which is why there was so much support for Nikola. And um, I think the information here is still relevant and important for you to consider. That's it, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about why Nikola has experienced this amazing growth. Have they done something Thing good recently have they released a car that can go uphill no th this price action is actually occurring because another company Cummins believes in the future of hydrogen and because Cummins believe in it therefore Nikola stock went up I feel like Nikola investors are just clawing at any bit of information they have to justify their investment and Nikola is just such a well-known name that any news can convince someone to invest more in Nikola. Cummins is a legacy or an older engine manufacturer. They actually have profit. They've been around for nearly a hundred years now with operating income of 2.75 billion dollars. 2.75 billion dollars more than Nikola and unfortunately they have not experienced the same bump as Nikola has because I don't think a lot of people a lot of the Robin Hood investors just know who Cummins is but again they actually make engines uh, diesel engines for big trucks and remember that the advantage of hydrogen is that it actually makes sense to do it for big trucks because number one you could refill it very fast and you could have a lot of hydrogen in your truck without adding to the weight of the truck. Uh, unlike a battery in which you need more battery cells to add farther distances, hydrogen, you can just pump it in and it doesn't really increase the weight by any. So for long haul distances, hydrogen actually does make sense. But let's dive a little bit deeper into this article. Diesel engine giant Cummins is bullish on the future of hydrogen as a transportation fuel. The company hosted a hydrogen technology day Monday. What Cummins management said motivated investors to act, but Cummins stock wasn't the one moving. Instead, Nikola was on the rise. Cummins aims to be a big player in the coming hydrogen economy and showcased its fuel cell and hydrogen production technology to investors. Key messages are, we are committed to hydrogen and to its coming. Okay, so I'm sure this this line was probably what drove Nikola up because they're saying it's inevitable and um, that the future is hydrogen. We'll see about that. The hydrogen economy is essentially a catch-all term for replacing gasoline and diesel fuel with a hydrogen gas. Hydrogen, when used in a fuel cell or burned, doesn't produce any carbon dioxide, the gas blamed by scientists for global warming and climate change. This is all good. This is why so many people supported Nikola in the beginning, because its mission, its stated mission, was good to have a green future. Ultimately, if we can burn hydrogen instead of diesel, this will be better for everybody. So it's not that I want Nikola to fail. It's that I actually want it to succeed, but all of the evidence points to it not being on the track to success, to put it lightly. Cummins stock fell 2.1% on Monday, despite the potential of the hydrogen business. Nikola stock, on the other hand, was up 3.4%, and that was on Monday. Monday. Today is Wednesday, and it's up 13%. Nikola probably has Cummins to thank for the positive price reaction since hydrogen economy numbers provided by Cummins agree closely with figures Nikola is talking about. So this is another key here. Nikola has spouted a lot of cow poop recently, and the fact that they have accidentally or inadvertently said something correct probably has a lot of Nikola bulls saying, see, I told you so. This one out of a hundred things they've said has turned out to be true, so they must be legitimate. Hydrogen provides a pathway to store energy from renewables, said Cummings management when asked about potential for hydrogen technology. The sun, of course, is always on generating power. Humans just need a cost-effective way to capture and store that energy. One way is to use electricity generated by renewable sources to split water into hydrogen and oxygen and then store the hydrogen. Cummins makes electrolyzers that accomplish the task as well as having its own fuel cell technology. This is really cool. They actually make electrolyzers as opposed to just saying that they make it. 
which is what Trevor Milton did with basically everything in their company. Cummins says one megawatt of electrolyzer capacity costs about $1 million now and will fall to $750,000 by 2025. One megawatt of electrolyzing capacity can make about 400 kilograms of hydrogen a day. A semi-truck pulling a trailer hurdling down a U.S. interstate highway gets roughly seven miles a gallon. An average truck driver can typically cover 500 miles to 600 miles each day. That means very roughly one megawatt of electrolyzing capacity can power a heavy duty truck for a few days. That is a very promising proposition if you don't have to fuel for a couple of days. We'll skip through a part of it. Now this is super important right now and this is what hydrogen needs to do in order to compete with diesel. Right now, Cummins electrolyzers can make hydrogen gas for about three to six dollars a kilogram, depending on the price of renewable energy. Cummins hydrogen production cost range is close to the four dollars per kilogram Nikola management uses with investors. This value that Nikola uses with investors, see, they're not saying that it uses on their trucks. This is just their target that they say they use with investors. I don't know if that's true. I have my suspicions. No, but this is one of the numbers you need to get to in order for it to make sense because people aren't going to pay more for this, even if it's better for the environment. They're not going to waste their money. So hydrogen at $4 a kilogram is competitive with diesel fuel, according to Nikola. Low prices are important for the entire hydrogen economy. Cummins added that distributing hydrogen gas can cost $4 to $7 a kilogram. That's a lot and is one reason why on-site hydrogen generation is important. There are a lot of numbers floating around and some competing business models. Nikola, for instance, wants to run hydrogen filling stations. Cummins can sell electrolyzers. There are also still a lot of unanswered questions about hydrogen as a long-term zero carbon fuel solution for the globe. That is the understatement of the year. There are tons of unanswered questions and mainly because Nikola has been the face of hydrogen for some reason. Right now, there are about 39 publicly available hydrogen stations for fueling fuel cell electric vehicles. If you compare that to the number of electric charging stations of over 78,000, you can see that hydrogen has a long ways to go. And I know this isn't the perfect comparison because these are diesel trucks and they aren't necessarily going to be using the same infrastructure as the public might but this is important relating to how many people know about this technology how many people are accepting it and how many people will ultimately want to invest in it hydrogen has been around for a long time but nobody has really been pushing for its growth successfully cummins coming into this space is a big boon for this industry but I don't think it should be affecting Nikola's stock like this because this is just not the face of hydrogen, it, or at least it shouldn't be. This company has said so many things, under-delivered on everything they said. It's filled with dishonesty. It's filled with people that don't know how to answer questions right or correctly or honestly. Its current CEO, Mark Russell, is a lot better about not lying, but he's also way better at just not answering any questions that anybody really asks him. Look at any interview with them, and you can see he never, ever gives a straight answer. If you are a trader, though, a day trader, Nikola definitely has some action. You could definitely make money off of it, but if you are a long-term investor, I would still continue to stay away. There's hundreds of other companies that are way more exciting that have actual growth that have revenue that i would take a look at over this that's all i got for today if that was helpful please like and subscribe it helps me out tremendously this is green knight trading where squires become knights thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you soon